Hello, my name is Eleanor and I made a video earlier about nudity on social media. And so I'm gonna talk about it again and see if I can, I don't know, I guess just present it a little differently than I did previously. So I'm gonna start off with this statement and then we're gonna work backwards, okay? So it's gonna be bold and then we'll peel it back. So, Posting nudes on social media is vulgar and cheap, in my opinion. And when I was really kind of looking at this and thinking about it, I guess I need to do a disclaimer, is that if this is something that you're a part of, that's fine. You know, you make your own decisions. And I have, there are two women in my life I'm thinking of who I have really great relationships with who do this. So it's like a Tuesday afternoon and I can tap on their stories, you know, and that's what they're posting. So this is not at all a judgment or some sort of cancel shit. This is just an opinion. So let's get into how I'm forming it. So one of the things that I've realized is there's a really different cadence between how the left brain operates and how the right brain operates. And I discussed how the feminine is the right brain and the masculine is the left brain in another video I can link below. But that there's two cadences that were all operating on at different levels and that the left brain is this very math science solution quantitative type of processing and how does that show up that shows up in computations that shows up in equations it shows up in executing a task and setting a plan and starting beginning the right side of the brain is the imaginative part, it's the creative part, it's the emotional processing, it's qualitative. So this is novelty and like giving birth to ideas and abstract thinking. So as Dr. Jordan Peterson says, there is chaos and there is order and they come together, which is what men and women also operate and represent the yin and the yang. So we have all of these polarities that we're operating between. So how does this relate to nudity? <laughs> so like I said, there is a cadence that I'm in like a, my swivel chair. We're all operating under at different points. And I have realized that our culture is so left brain and our whole work system operates from this point and it's what we have attributed so much of our value to. So what we've accomplished, what we've completed, what task we set out to do and what we've accomplished, what we have to show for it, how much money we're making, all of these like quantitative numerical things and points on a timeline of what you've done and how you've accomplished it and how pretty much that's like really how we're introducing ourselves with our degrees, why we think we're valuable to the opposite sex. This is the properties I own. These are the businesses I've started. This is the investment, the real estate. How does this have to do with nudity? I'm building up to it. I'm building up to it. So, so much is focused on this cadence, this left brain, this masculine, this yang, this very type of flow. And that the yin and the delicacy and the mysterious and the unknown and the slowing down and the quiet internal reflection isn't as present. We don't see it as often. And in my opinion, we don't value it 
to the same extent that we do production. So now we're seeing more of a balance. There is more preservation over production. Eleanor, what does this have to do with nudes on Instagram? I'm getting to it. So when women are presenting themselves in a way that they believe is valuable or in a way that they think is desirable or how they believe they can be more attractive is they are coming to men in these very left brain masculine ways where it's like, I'm a valuable woman because I've done X, Y, and Z. I've accomplished this. I've done this. I've been certified here. Here's my education. Here's my credentials. And it's like, I don't want to get, I could go into a whole tailspin with this, but you're leading with all of these, bam, 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 here's what I've done. Are you taking me or are you leaving me? Like, do I even like you? What have you done? What can you do for me? <laughs> right? Like this is the sort of dialogue that we're having. So when women are going to social media, how are they communicating their desirability is they are bearing all. They're bearing all. And once again, we can have a whole conversation about women's liberation and empowerment and being free and sexual agency. And I'd love to talk about it, but that's not what I'm going to focus on right now. But the... way that it's just like, here it is, all of it, right here, right now. Do you see what I'm saying? As opposed to a different time where women at home would wear like long silk robes and there was an allure and there was a sensuality, not a vulgarity. And the sensuality was and still remains very attractive, but it's a different tempo. There is like an elongation. There's um, a tease, but not in a manipulative way. Just like I'm presenting something pleasurably aesthetic. Like you can see my silhouette. You can see... Um, there's this beautiful concept I love. Aisha K. Fain's talked about conceal to reveal. So I'm wearing tights. So you're noticing my legs, but you don't actually see my legs. I'm wearing sunglasses. So I'm drawing attention to my face, but you don't know the eyes behind the shades. So there was a time in a way where women were interacting with men that had a different cadence, that had something longer, and that enabled men to do what I think they instinctively want to do and instinctively operate in is the chase, is closing the gap. So when women are posting all of the, th like, nudes, all of the things, it's just like, why are you so surprised when you get a quick DM, when you get a, hey, what's up, when you get just like some like immediate response? Because that's what you're presenting. Like it's all out there. So he's just gonna, he's just gonna go for it. Like, shit, well, she put it out there. Let me see if I can like tap in. Let me see if I can get some of it. It's not thinking of like, how can I continue connecting? How can I get to know her? How, you know, what is this going to take? What will this dance look like? It's just very like swipe left, swipe right. And this is, I think, part of the thing that is confusing is that clearly this has a response like women are successfully gaining and garnering male attention but it is like how long lasting is it i bet you it's just as short-lived as us just like seeing everything there is no mystique there is no sensuality there is no mystery of 
peeling back um, what's truly there and getting to know a man as he's getting to know you. And you're creating more distance, which means you're creating more connection and where he is putting more of an investment in you, right? So if we're looking for something more long-term or if we are looking to have a connection more sustainable or something that feels more significant, moving into this yin tempo of the sensuality of using your sex appeal where you're concealing to reveal, not <laughs> bearing all, that you can create a tempo for men to connect to and to plug into in a way that I think is just more beneficial for you overall. And then also, honestly, more helpful to the culture. And then for men to be able to tap into innately what I think that they're automatically designed to do. And yeah, we can maybe start chipping away at all of this fucking stimulation and where men have access to the most beautiful woman they've ever had in history. They can look at thousands of faces and bodies in a day. It's crazy. So the other thing that I realized with nudity is this whole conversation about what I mentioned to earlier is if you are coming to a man or anyone and saying, you know, as a woman, this is why I'm desirable because here's my resume, here's my CV, here is whatever, my work interview. And that's great that you have those successes. I'm not knocking that at all. And I think that's important to know that you can provide for yourself and that you have that. But I'm saying is if that is what you're using for your validation and if that is your stake to claim for value, I feel like you're very, I feel like we've all been misled. It's not even you. It's like me too. I used to do this also. So what I've realized with the nudity is once again, like we keep focusing on what we can do, what we've accomplished, but we're not focusing on who we are. Like what you offer to the space, how you create opportunity, how you nurture potential, how you inspire the person in front of you to feel better, be better, and do better. And these are all things that you have, that you've developed, that you've cultivated. These are feminine. These are yin. These are a different cadence, a different like the string section of the orchestra not the percussion and that is missing in the conversation and that's like missing I think of what women are valuing in themselves and then able to articulate to other <laughs> people and other suitors so back to the nudes is it's interesting to me because the nudity to in my opinion, is communicating two things. It is communicating to the man's ego, which is important to do in seduction, but there is like, you know, there's ways to finesse this. <laughs> so you're appealing to the man's ego, but once again, this is putting you, I think, in a vulnerable spot because he has access to so much to so much. So it's like, you're not only like the big booty and nice smile. Like there's plenty more to look at or to select or to like experience and spend time with. So if you are coming to it where it's like, no, I know what men like. I know what they go for. I know what they're all about. I know what they're interested in. It's like, yes, but it's a quick flame. Like you light it and then it goes out. And it's like, you have to have more to sustain the fire. You have to be able to back it up more than just your look. The look's very important. Uh, I'm not downplaying that at all. It's very important. Stroking a man's ego, also very valuable. And in a way that is 
healthy and mutually beneficial. So that's one part of, I think, what women are looking to do and looking to finesse. And the second thing is that there's this undertone message of this is what I can do for you. I can do you. I can have sex with you. Or I can be a piece on your arm for others to look at. And this is... what I feel like gets tricky and where people start to feel like they're arguing like with a wall on both sides is that the explicit content that you're sharing of yourself is in fact communicating those things. Is, is that basically this is sex. Like that's where everyone's mind is going to. This is sex, sex sells. So this is what I can do for you, right? In exchange of what you can do for me. And whatever, you know, the claim is or whatever the request is from a woman depends. But there's something transactional about that. You can like, I know that that's really subtle and people may backfire on me with that. But there's something to it where once again, it's just about the doing. I can do this for you. I can be this visual for you, for other people to look at me for you. Versus, I think a woman who is sensual and who has a, once again, the sex appeal that is more in line with the like conceal to reveal where it's like, this woman is sexy. There's something sexy about her, but she's not just sex. You see what I'm saying? So once again, it's a different tempo. It's a different cadence. There's something more yin and feminine about it. There's something more alluring about it when it's not so, you know, this is my whole body. And part of the social media, which I think is interesting, is we place higher value on things that are more rare, that are less accessible. So like diamonds <laughs> or gold. And only a certain amount of people have access to it because only a certain amount of people can afford it. And it's not accessible to everyone. So when I just think about when you are posting or you have these like images of yourself where like hundreds of eyes, thousands of eyes, millions of eyes can just see all of you. Like so many people can see you and it's not like where you're selecting who gets to view your body, who is in a position that you've placed them in in order to receive like a privilege basically. You have just said, okay, no, here it is, here I am. And anyone who comes across my page has access to that. And that's what I'm saying. Some, like, it cheapens it. It cheapens it. And I think males and men get that, but we're not using the same terminology that I'm using. But where it's like, you know, if she's been passed around or if she's out there, out there like that, then they view her as less valuable or just yeah like not as much of an asset as a woman who has carefully selected and controlled who has access to her in that way who can view her in those terms and in fact that heightens her and she has more value to her because there is something exclusive about her because it's not everyone can just witness her out here like that. Do you know what I mean? 
So that is really what I'm talking about when I say that a lot of what's being portrayed on social media as far as like women and the nudity and all of that stuff goes is that like it's really vulgar it's become a vulgar society and i think that's just a reflection of this sort of left brain cadence versus having a really sensual woman who's in touch with her sexuality but operates in a different realm operates in the right brain the feminine where there is this like I think of the cartoons where there's this aroma scent and like the cartoon character is like closing their eyes following the aroma scent. That's like the, the feminine that is the woman who is using the sex appeal like conceal to reveal. Like you don't know what's going on there, but there's something that's like so dreamy about it that like it feels good, it smells good, and I wanna follow the trail. And so there's more of an appeal, which once again, the woman has more control over that. So she has better selection <laughs> because she has a say in what the accessibility is. And that in fact makes her seem more expensive almost. So yes, so I know once again, I have a whole other video on objectification. So if anyone is like, what is going on with the expensive and the cheek is I don't mean it literally, but I just want to help paint the picture. And once again, some of the different connections that I've made metaphysically with this idea of the cadence of operating from this like masculine tempo versus the cadence of operating from a feminine tempo and how one side has been exploited and I feel like there could be more respect for women and longer lasting connections and just an up leveling of men and women if we changed the cadence of how we are presenting ourselves as being desirable. So I'll probably build on this some more. I think this was a little bit better job than what I did earlier. It's a little longer, but that's how that that's how that goes. So as always, my name is Eleanor and just some thoughts. Uh, I forgot another point I wanted to talk about. So as you can probably tell, I have <laughs> a picture of a naked woman framed. I love this piece of art. I love this artwork. And this was something that I was also gonna bring up is growing up, my family was members at the art museum, the local art museum, and I've been a bunch. And my whole family growing up looked at this type of art of sculptures. In my house, we had um, sketch drawings of men and women in the nude. I remember I had friends coming over from school and they're like, why do you have naked people on your wall? <laughs> so I actually grew up where like the female form was art. So I like, I love the female body. And once again, there is a difference between just the recognition of the poetry, you know, the physical poetry of the female body and admiring it and appreciating it within the fine arts versus once again, women presenting themselves as this is what I can do for you or I want you to do for me in a certain way because of how I look, because of how I present my body. So once again, do you feel like there's a completely different vibe there where there is an appreciation for just what is as it is versus like, here I am, this is what I can do. Let's see what you got. This is what I'm working with, let's go. Do you know what I mean? Like there's a whole different dialogue that's happening underneath everything. And I guess that's just what I want to point out and this is my attempt to verbalize it so i'm hoping that people are like kind of like picking that up that there is a completely different undertone of what's been going on 
with social media and I feel like a lot of it is this doing, this action oriented, this is like, this is how men take power. They get after it, they say, this is what I got, take it or leave it, right? These sorts of just dialogue and narratives. And I feel like that's what women are starting to embody as they are just like, here I am, what's good? This is what I got, this is what I'm working with. This is what I want, this is what I'll do for you. And so <laughs> it's completely different than just, like you, if we just hear, we'll just like be in silence so we can kind of just tap into, I know that's a little, that may be a little too much for some of you, but just like to take a moment to like look at the picture and kind of like just tap into it. So you feel and like sense like there's a delicacy here that like this woman's actually in like a, a very vulnerable position and she like has um, has the bird. But in art, there's a different translation. And I think and believe that it is translating women as they are. They are the life form. They are the divine piece to the whole, right? They are the other half, I think of like of men, of the, the yin. So it's a completely different conceptualization and experience of the female body. And I totally fuck with this. Like I, I love this type of connection and respect and reverence for the female form. I love, I'm not, I'm heterosexual, but I love artwork of women, especially in this way. So that was another thing as I finished the video, I was like, oh my God, earlier today, I was like, I have to talk about the art and growing up around art and um, all of that good stuff. But this is a lady named Demetra Milan and she is phenomenal. I also have, um, I don't, another picture of hers. I don't know if you can tell. You can kind of get away from the light but it's of another uh, woman in a hawk and then this lady and her swan so yeah so i really like pictures like i love art of of women and animals too so yes okay that was the other add-on that i had so as always i am eleanor and just a few more thoughts